Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Ask Daniel. Now today's video is going to be very special because we just hit 35,000 subscribers on the Dancing Gaming YouTube channel. So because of that, this is going to be a very, very big Q&A. Daniel, what do you think of animation memes? That is a very, very good question. Personally, I do like watching animation memes. There are some good ones out there and there are some not so good ones out there. Personally, I actually enjoy watching them when they put a lot of detail into it, or a lot of time into it, etc. Daniel, what is your favorite song from Mario? It could be any main series or spin-off game. Also, good question. Um, my favorite would have to be, of course, the ground theme from the original Super Mario Brothers. Um, there's a lot of good songs from the Super Mario Odyssey soundtrack, especially the Sand Kingdom and the Wooded Kingdom. Um, uh, but personally, I, I just enjoy a lot of the songs. Like, there's there's so many of them that I can not go into detail. Like, I think my personal one would have to be, of course, the ground theme from Super Mario Brothers. Why are you pyro ripoff? Also, if Nessie was an animal, I would put him to sleep ASAP. <laughs> okay, to be honest, um, I actually wanted to do commentary when I found Pirate Cynicals uh, YouTube channel because I personally felt like that this kind of genre was like the perfect YouTube genre that I would use on my channel. If robots had fur, would that make Nessie a furry? Um, not really. I think furries would be based on, like, a specific animal, like German shepherds or wolves or foxes, etc. And robots is just, you know, a robot as it is, and it just has fur on it. Daniel, do you watch any anime? Um, not really, because I personally find watching something outside of my culture, you know, because I'm an American, to be... Weird. But a few years ago, I actually did watch a bit of anime. My personal favorite was Black Butler. And I gotta say this, Mei Rin is the cutest character in that show. She's like the unikitty of the show. She's a sweet little character with a sweet voice. But then, once you make her mad, uh, you, you would regret messing with her. Do you read Homestuck? Um, no, I haven't, but I know my girlfriend does. And she says it's an amazing series. I personally never read it, but I've seen characters of it, and of course, the, 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 <clears throat> the fan base of it. Welcome to McDonald's, how may I take your order? Um, yes, is your breakfast menu still going? Yes. Well, I would like to have myself a hot cake and a little bit of Coca-Cola. Okay, that'll be $3.69, come on to the next window. Thoughts on VR not safe for work content? Oh god, personally I find the idea for VR not safe for work content stupid. And I find it sad because I feel like there's gonna be some 30 year old man living in his mother's basement watching My Little Pony all day. He's gonna be sad that he can't get himself a girlfriend, so he goes to put on his Oculus Rift to find some not safe for work content. <laughs> That, that's what I see it as. That's what I see it as because I think the idea of this is absolutely stupid. Is it healthy to stay up at 3 a.m. doing stupid garbage until 6 a.m. when you have to go to school? No. Will you ever get that Sanran Kakata game that Annika played once? No, no, why would I do that? I have a girlfriend. Why would I ever play this? How's life? Um, doing well. I mean, we just finally got up a fence in my house, so that way we could just let the dogs out without having to worry about them going into the highway, which is amazing. Um, basically, my life is doing great. When will you ever make a Minecraft server? Um, I know that this is actually a very jokish question, I know that this is an ironic question, but personally, I know a lot of fans who do play Minecraft unironically, and I was thinking about making a server uh, once, but I don't know how to set one up, I don't know how to try to create a server, it's just kind of odd to me, I really, really want to try to get a server out there for people. Daniel, do you prefer gaming laptops or gaming PCs? Actually, I go for both, mainly because if I'm at my home, I can do stuff on my computer, but when I have to go to a friend's house and I want to game over there, I can just pick up my laptop, so that's why I go for both. Daniel, do you enjoy pains? Um, well, that's actually, that's actually a pretty good question. Um, for one, I do enjoy pain when it's something that, you know, that surprises me, something that I like, but when it's like an unneeded pain, like when it's extremely unneeded, <sighs> that's that's what it goes too far. In fact, pinging has actually become a meme at this point. Daniel, have you ever watched any cartoons from the 80s or 90s? Yes, I have actually. My favorite cartoon, of course, from the 90s was season one of SpongeBob, 
And I personally enjoyed all of the Super Mario Brothers cartoons, you know, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, the adventures of Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario World. For some reason, I think you're Asian. Are you? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm American. Yo, Daniel, does the Taipan meme or the not count as one of the Holy Trinity of 2018? Um, well, if they started at the beginning of the year and they were a big trend, then yeah, I guess. Daniel, what do you edit with? Um, right now I edit with Magix Vegas Pro 14, which is basically the same thing as Sony Vegas Pro 14. When I started doing commentary, I edited with Windows Movie Maker, and then I got Videopad, and then I got Sony Movie Studio 14, and now I edit with Vegas. And if you think I pirated or cracked Vegas, I didn't. I actually got it from the Humble Bundle deal that was going on in December of 2017. Kimi wa boku sabaku. Or translated to, will you take me? Um, no, I'm already taken. <laughs> is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. What's your favorite album you made, and what song do you think is best from that album? I have to say, my favorite album I made was the first Left Out album, and my favorite track of that was, of course, the, the last track, Left Out. It's a song about every single feeling that you had, when you were wanting to be invited to something that you loved, but then you get pushed out, you get pushed away, and nobody would ever think about you. Now, on the second album, Left Out Part 2, my favorite songs there was one, Seeing Things, a song about how your life is actually going downhill, but you start to feel like you're hallucinating, you're starting to think everything is a dream, but then you find out it's a reality. And the second song I like for that album is Take Care or Farewell, a song about how you want to leave the area that you're in and want to live a better life. You don't want to go through this torment anymore, but then you find out, oh, you're stuck here for a long time. Also, coincidentally enough, the uh, layout and the jingle and the instruments that I use in that song is a reference to the old uh, credits for the Wiggles. Yeah, that old uh, 1990s uh, Wiggles show and the things related to the Wiggles back in the 90s, they always had this little opening or ending of a girl painting on a canvas and she paints the Wiggles logo. Here, have a listen. Daniel, why do you hate swearing so much even though you do it yourself? It's censored, but still. Um, personally, I feel awkward when trying to swear at this age, if I if I really want to be honest. I don't really like swearing, but when I do end up swearing in my videos or swearing in a, a chat, I would I would actually censor it censor it out. Will you ever notice me? Um, I'm noticing you right now. Hello. Daniel, what is your favorite video of yours? Um, good question. Personally, I enjoyed a few of the videos I've worked on. Like, I enjoyed the one about the, uh, Why Mario Sucks Kid. I enjoyed working on the, uh, Awesome Parodies, uh, Breakdown video. Personally, there's some videos that I've made in the past that I actually do like. Daniel, what font is this? Um, that's also a good question. I get this asked a lot, and I've always said it. The font that I use in my videos is Super Mario 286. It is a fan-made font based on the font that Nintendo uses for Super Mario logos, like in Super Mario 3D World. What's 2 plus 2? It's 4! Minus 1, that's 3 quick maths! How'd you heard of Nintendo? Okay, uh, interesting question. Um, I think I first heard about it when I was like 4 or 5. I used to have an old Windows XP computer in the hallway, and I was uh, watching some YouTube videos, and I found these this interesting place about a plumber with a question block and a warp pipe, and I was just I was just interested with what I saw in there. And then when I looked it up, it turns out it's actually from a series called Super Mario Brothers. I thought it was so interesting at the time, and I wanted something Mario related. But then uh, when I turned uh, six, I think. Yeah, my grandfather then gave me my first ever Nintendo system, the Nintendo 64, with a copy of Super Smash Bros. And that's when I started getting into Nintendo. Do you listen to the Gorillas? And if so, what's your favorite song for them? Um, I'd say... Okay, I do listen to the Gorillas, 
but my favorite song is not really Feel Good Inc. It's actually Do Ya Thing. I, I personally love listening to that song. How are you today? Oh, I'm good. Thanks for asking, Chris.